Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video tour. Today we are taking a look at this 2025 Coachman Apex 194 BHS travel trailer here. This has one slide out, a couple bunks, and a queen bed up front. We're going to take a few minutes here, run you through the inside and outside of the RV. We'll also close it up at the end, show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now up inside the brand new 2025 Coachman Apex 194 BHS here. And as you've seen on the floor plan that was up, again, front bedroom, rear bunk, bathroom area with one slide out here. Let's start up here in the front section and we'll kind of work our way to the back for you. So up here in your adult bedroom area, you're gonna have a window on each side of the bed that do open. You're gonna have the windshield in the front of the RV here that does not open. You will have some overhead cabinet space up here, so you could store quite a bit of stuff in there. Over here above this window, you're gonna have your uh, electric outlet and a cable outlet with the TV antenna booster. It does have the WineGuard Air 360 Plus antenna system on it. Uh, there's a backer in the wall, so you could mount you a TV on the wall. Very, very important, do not use too long a screw. The sidewall on an ultralight camper like this typically is around an inch and a half thick. Uh, so definitely do your measurements and make sure uh, that you don't use too big of a screw. Uh, you'll go right through the outside. You're gonna have down here your traditional RV entry door and screen door set up. Now it is that black safety glass entry exit door, so it does have that window in it that is Lippert Thin Shade ready. Down here in your kitchen area, you're gonna have a couple drawers and some storage underneath of that as well. You have an electric outlet on the side of the counter, a bottle opener here, your fire extinguisher also located right there. You're gonna have your furnace also located right here. It has a propane furnace, traditional microwave, and a two burner gas stove top here as well. You do have electric box with the breakers and fuses down below, and you also have this pantry area right here. So there's a little bit of storage down there, uh, but then you also have quite a bit more up here. And it's fairly deep. It's probably, I'd say close to maybe 18 inches or so. It's a pretty deep little area right there. Large window here overlooking your awning or campsite area here that does also open. Has a metal mini blind on that window. Pleated shades on the other windows. You have some overhead cabinet space here as well. Now on the side of the cabinet over here, you're gonna have this portable Bluetooth speaker your awning in and out button, your slide in and out button, and a light switch. Your booth dinette is what the slide out actually is. So this area right here will slide in and out. I'll show you that at the end of the video. Um, but there is storage underneath of those dinette seats, so you can cram a lot of goodies in there as well. That will also go down and make into a bed. So if you have that extra guest that might be coming with you, they could sleep on that. Another large window back there that will open. Looking up at our roof area right here, you are gonna have your AC system. It's a drop-in AC that blows out in four different directions, or it has a quick dump that you can also dump it straight down if you want. Now over here, you're gonna have your propane leak detector, an electric outlet down there. You're also gonna have the furnace control and you have your eight cubic foot, 12 volt powered Furion refrigerator with the freezer on top, refrigerator on bottom. And then there's also some overhead space up there as well. Now looking up at this part of the ceiling, there's a large turbo exhaust fan right there to move a lot of air. So on a good fall day, being able to open up your windows and then just kind of turn that turbo fan on to pull the air from outside in and just kind of circulate the air, that is very nice. Now this little thing right here is where you could purchase aftermarket a WineGuard Gateway Connect. 
that would hook up right there. It works in conjunction with that Air 360 Plus TV antenna system, would allow you to subscribe to like AT&T or Verizon internet service and bring internet with you. Over here, you're gonna have your bunk area. So you got a window up there that does open. Pull down shade. There's an outlet thing back there as well. Also a light back there. Down below here, kind of similar. You're gonna have window and a shade, and there's an outlet back there as well, and a light. Now underneath of here, you'll notice this part's kind of high right here. That is where the outdoor kitchen and stuff is. You'll see when we get back outside. Here, you're gonna have your bathroom area right here. So you do have a vent fan up top here. You also have a skylight up above your shower. Medicine cabinet area back there. There is a little sink area, some shelf space and storage space all right there as well. Now it is a step-in tub setup. So over there, you're gonna have, I'd say probably close to about a foot deep tub. So if you have a small child, you could probably give them a bath in there. ABS tub surround, pull across curtain, and your traditional skylight up above setup. Over here, is a pretty large linen closet area right there. It goes back kind of deep. It's a little hard to video this thing, but you kind of get the idea there with the picture that's popping up as well. Foot flush toilet, and then your on-demand water heater controls right here, your monitor panel for your holding tanks, water pump, and 12-volt tank heater switch. This one was ordered with the optional 12-volt heat pads, so it has that switch there. If you do not do that option, you will not have that switch there. All right, so we're gonna step back outside. I wanna show you around the outside of the RV real quick, and then we're gonna come back in, close it up for you. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we are back outside on the brand new 2025 Apex Nano. 194 BHS travel trailer here. Starting here on the door side, we'll kind of work our way around for you. So first things up, we have a white fiberglass exterior attached to an upgraded Asdale composite material instead of a cheap wood luon backer. You have a lower black metal skirting. The unit has deep tent safety glass windows. You're also gonna have a large power awning with the LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV, adjustable arms for tilting, and a manual override in the front arm head in case of an electronic failure. You can see here, you do have a pretty good pass-through storage area right here, pretty good size. Now right here is the front cap light switch. There's a light in here, obviously. And then you have the solar panel charge controller also located right here. It is a 30 amp charge controller. Down below, you can see one of your four heavy-duty scissor stabilizer jacks. So one on each corner. You have the heavy-duty Lippert solid entry step here, rated for 500 pounds. Comes down, touches the ground, adjustable feet, flips in the doorway when traveling. Nice size, uh, large handle there to help you get in and out of the RV, which does fold over. You have a traditional RV entry door and screen door, but it is that black safety glass entry door with the uh, window kind of built in there as well. This one was ordered with the Goodyear Wrangler off-road tires instead of the standard tires. It has aluminum wheels, drum brakes, easy lube hubs. Your furnace exhaust out right here. You have an electric outlet right here. You also have your on-demand water heater located right here. And then you have a little mini outside kitchen area here. So you have a griddle and a mini fridge and a little bit of shelf space right here. There is a light in here, USB charger ports and electric outlet both in there as well. They did a new graphics package also for 2025, so it does have a little different graphic package on it. Now just down below, right down there, you can see that little sticker flapping around. That is where you plug in the griddle for propane. You have a traditional flat back fiberglass rear end here. Uh, it does have the four inch square tube bumper. You have your spare tire mounted on the back as well. You're gonna have LED running lights, 
You're also going to have prepping in the top center right there for the Furion uh, observation camera. I'll let you see what's going on behind you when you're driving down the road and kind of backing into your campsite. It's a very nice camera system to consider adding aftermarket. Now in the top right corner right there, that is where you're prepped for the Lippert portable stow and go ladder. That is a telescoping ladder you can buy aftermarket and be able to get up and down on and off your roof to do your inspections and check things out. Now real quick, let's check out the roof for you so you can see what that looks like. All right, so just up here real quick to show you what a roof of one of these things looks like. You have your air conditioner up here, your WineGuard Air 360 Plus TV antenna system, skylight over there, a couple plumbing stack vents, couple roof vents, and this one was ordered with the 200 watt solar panel system. So again, there are quite a few things up here that you wanna get up here from time to time and do your little inspection, check your seams, check your seals, and just make sure that your roof is not gonna leak on any RV. That is very important to get up here and check everything. All right, so pretty simple up there, not a whole lot of stuff, but again, remember to check it out and maintain it. Down here, you are gonna have your cable inlet, your detachable 30 amp electric cord. You're gonna have hot and cold outside utility shower, city water inlet and black tank flush. The gray and black tanks both dump out right here as well. Now kind of stepping back here so you can see the whole side of the RV here. This one, the customer put a slide out awning cover on top of. That is a awning that basically rolls in and out with the room as it goes in and out for you. So when you push that button to bring it in, it's gonna retract right in. But those are pretty nice. They actually help shade the top of the room they repel a lot of water, leaves, twigs, debris, so you're not dragging a bunch of stuff into your RV when you close it up. And that is the Lippert in-wall, or used to be referred to as the Schwintech slide system on this thing. We'll show you what that looks like closed up here shortly. Just down below, you can see that large handle right down there, and that is uh, where you would dump your fresh water tank. Now, this one was also ordered with the 12 volt heat pads on the holding tanks for colder weather camping. That is not standard on an Apex. So when you are out shopping around and looking, for example, again, this one has the optional Goodyear Wrangler tires, the optional 12 volt heat pads on it. Some dealers do not buy those, so they might appear cheaper, but you're also getting less. Now, if you don't need those features, that's a good thing too. But if you do want those features, make sure you get what you want. Baggage door here held up by the magnetic holder. Your gravity fill fresh water tank is right there. Now right here's some very important informational stuff here. So first things up, production date sticker right here. It tells me this particular RV was built 814 of 2024. Model number 194 BHS. The unit has a gross vehicle weight. This is axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined. You're not allowed to exceed this number. 4,700 pounds. That's the most you can load it to. The dry weight sticker here tells me when it rolled off the factory assembly line with these options on it, it was 3,917 pounds. Has an exterior length of 22 feet, 7 inches. Your tires here are LT 225-75R16 E-range tire with an 80 PSI cold. And again, it is very important to keep up with tire pressure on any RV that you travel with. Tires can only hold a certain amount of weight at a certain pressure. If you let that pressure drop too low, it cannot hold the weight of the RV properly and is more susceptible to tire failure. Up here on the front, you have a lower metal skirting and then you have kind of a three quarter fiberglass front shell with that windshield built in and a couple LED lights up here as well. You have standard, a manual tongue jack, two and five sixteenths hitch ball, heavy duty safety change, seven way Bargman wiring plug, breakaway cable. There is a battery disconnect right back here and there's room for one, possibly two batteries depending on the size of the battery that you go with. But overall, a very nice, clean look 
to the new 2025 Coachman Apex 194 BHS here. All right, now we're gonna step back inside. I wanna show you what it looks like closed up. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are now back inside the new 2025 Apex 194 BHS here. I just wanted to show you how this slide kind of operates, what it looks like closed. When you are ready to bring it in, you gotta come in here and hit your button. Take it in or out. So we're gonna push the button to bring it in and it pretty much just comes straight in and goes straight out. This again is the Lippert in-wall slide system. It's 12 volt powered. Uh, you could manually bring it in in case of an electronic failure if you had to. But it just takes a few seconds to run it in, run it out. Now again, it's very important like any other slide out to make sure that you do have a clean floor and nothing in the way so you don't accidentally run something over and rip and damage your linoleum or when you're going out accidentally run into like an electric pole or water pole or something at the campground. But when it is closed, I could still walk through the whole RV. So if I'm traveling down the road and I'm stopping at a rest area, I could come in here, take a nap. I could get a drink out of my fridge, use my bathroom and not have to actually worry about opening up the slide. That's also very handy when you are say stopping at the grocery store on the way and maybe wanting to come in and load your fridge. You don't have to worry about actually opening up the slide. But if you are in an area where you can open it up, just push the button and it goes straight on back out. Again, pretty simple to do. All right, folks, thanks a ton for taking the time to watch my RV videos. As always, you are greatly appreciated. Please remember to smash that like button down below if you're interested in helping out my channel and keeping up with more of my videos. Thanks again.